Trypanosoma gambiens. This parasite causes African sleeping sickness. It occurs primarily in western and central Africa, and the vector is the tsetse fly. Symptoms of African sleeping sickness include local inflammation at the site of the bite, fever, headache, joint and muscle pain, enlarged lymph nodes, nervous impairment, which leads ultimately to the terminal sleeping stage by which the disease gets its name. Primary prevention is controlling the tsetse fly populations and chemoprophylaxis with pentamidine. Now we're going to look at some slides that show this protozoan parasite. We're starting out at the 4x objective and getting a good blood slide at 4x is very very difficult but it's imperative that you get it as close to focus as you possibly can. Now at this magnification we can see very little but when we magnify using the 10x objective we can now start to see some of the individual erythrocytes and leukocytes mixed through here, although we're still having trouble seeing the parasites, the trypanosomes. It's not until we get to the 40x objective that we can see the parasites. Now this is a flagellate, meaning it has a flagella, and we can see it there, and it's outside the blood cells, so it lives between the erythrocytes, and we can also see the occasional leukocyte. Here's a second slide, again, at the 4x. The best we can do is try to get these individual red blood cells in as close a focus as we can. At 10x, it becomes a little more apparent, and this is a pretty good slide. This is a pretty sick individual. We can see, at this level, some trypanosomes. There's quite a few in this blood sample and here we can see them a little more clearly the red blood cells and the flagellated protozoans so when looking for a trypanosome always look for a parasite outside of the blood cells unlike plasmodium vivax and it will have a flagella which we can see on the various examples of this animal